Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. And today we're going to take a look at the 50 highest selling 1990s baseball cards from the PWCC weekly auction that ended on June 30th. And we'll kick today's list off at the peak of the junk wax era at number 50 with this 1990 Leaf John Olerud rookie, card number 237. This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $33.60. Up next at number 49 is this 1996 Ultra Power Plus Gold Medallion Ken Griffey Jr. Card number 3. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $36. Coming in at number 48 is this 1996 Bazooka Derek Jeter Card number 80. This was a PSA 10, and it also sold for $36 even. Up next at number 47 is this 1999 Topps Lords of the Diamond Ken Griffey Jr. Card number LD1. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $37.20. Coming in at number 46 is this 1994 Top Shortstop Prospects featuring Derek Jeter with card number 158. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $37.20. Up next at number 45 is this 1990 Baseball Cards Magazine Replica Cards Cal Ripken Jr. Card number 57. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $37.20. Up next at number 44 is this 1995 Bowman's Best Blue Scott Rowland Rookie Card number 87. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $38.40. Coming in at number 43 is this 1992 Ultra Nolan Ryan, card number 141. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $38.40. Make that back-to-back -back appearances at number 42 with this 1992 score Nolan Ryan card number 2. This was a PSA 10 and it also sold for $38.40. Up next at number 41 is this 1995 SP Championship die cut Derek Jeter card number 20. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for just short of $40. Up next at number 40 is this 1997 Bowman's Best Adrian Beltre Rookie, card number 117. This rookie was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $43.20. Make that back-to-back -back appearances at number 39 with this 1999 Topps Tech Gold Pattern 4 Adrian Beltre, card number 18A. Serial numbered out of only 10, this was a BGS 8.5 and it sold for $44.40. Coming in at number 38, is this 1995 Bowman Foil Scott Rowland Rookie, card number 271. This rookie was in a PSA 9, and it sold for $44.40. 
Up next at number 37 is this 1992 Stadium Club Tony Gwynn, card number 825. This was a PSA 10, and it also sold for $44.40. Coming in at number 36 is this 1991 Stadium Club Cal Ripken Jr. Auto, card number 430. This card was authenticated by PSA, given a 9 grade for the auto, and it sold for $46.80. Coming in at number 35 is this 1993 Topps Derek Jeter Rookie, card number 98. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $55.20. Coming in at number 34 is this 1991 Topps Ken Griffey Jr., card number 790. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $55.20. Make that back-to-back -back appearances for the kid at number 33, with this 1995 Pinnacle Ken Griffey Jr., card number 128. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $57.60. Up next at number 32 is this 1993 Flair Nolan Ryan card number 286. This was a PSA 10 and it also sold for $57.60. Coming in at number 31 is this 1997 Skybox EX2000 Barry Larkin card number 64. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $62.40. And we kick off the top 30 of today's list with this 1995 Zenith Hideo Nomo Rookie, card number 149. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $62.40. Up next at number 29 is this 1997 Skybox EX2000 Greg Maddox, card number 57. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $64.80. Coming in at number 28 is this 1996 Pentacle Zenith Mosaics featuring Sammy Sosa, Mark Grace, and Ryan Sandberg, card number 6. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for just short of $70. Up next at number 27, is this 1993 Finest Tim Wakefield Refractor, card number 37. This refractor was in a PSA 9, and it sold for $72 even. Up next at number 26, is this 1993 Topps Traded Todd Helton Rookie, card number 19T. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for just short of $80. Coming in at number 25 is this 1994 Flair Hot Gloves Die Cut Ken Griffey Jr., card number 3. This die cut was in a PSA 9, and it sold for $81.60. Coming in at number 24 is this 1998 Skybox EX2001 Derek Jeter, card number 7. 
This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $93.60. Make that back-to-back -back appearances at number 23 with this 1993 Stadium Club Murphy Derek Jeter rookie, card number 117. This rookie was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $105.60. Up next at number 22 is this 1993 Pinnacle Cooperstown Ryan Sandberg, card number 8. This was a PSA 10, and it also sold for $105.60. The kids back at number 21, with this 1990 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr., card number 156. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $108. And kicking off the top 20 of today's list is this 1994 classic Birmingham Barons Michael Jordan, card number 1. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $150. Up next at number 19 is this 1999 Finest Team Finest Sammy Sosa Red Refractor, card number TF3. Serial numbered out of 50, this Red Refractor was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $156. Coming in at number 18 is this 1994 Upper Deck Electric Diamond Derek Jeter, card number 550. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $168. Make that back-to-back -back appearances at number 17, with this 1999 Skybox Premium Soul of the Game Derek Jeter, card number 4. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $174. Up next at number 16 is this 1991 Topps Magazine Perforated Bo Jackson, card number TM52. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $180. We welcome a newcomer to the list at number 15 with this 1999 Topps Traded Certified Josh Hamilton Rookie Auto, card number T66. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $252. Up next at number 14 is this 1997 Pinnacle Certified Mirrored Gold Sammy Sosa, card number 35. This was a PSA 10, and it also sold for $252. Coming in at number 13, is this 1999 UD Choice Star Quest Gold Pudge Rodriguez, card number SQ20. Serial numbered out of 100, this was a PSA 6, and it sold for $312. Up next at number 12 is this 1999 Bowman's Best Ken Griffey Jr. Refractor, card number 80. Serial numbered out of 400, this refractor was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $324. Coming in at number 11 is this 1995 Finest Sammy Sosa Refractor, card number 197. This was a PSA 10, 
and it also sold for $324. And kicking off the top 10 of today's list is this 1994 Sport Flicks Artist Proofs Alex Rodriguez Rookie, card number 148. This A-Rod Rookie was in a BGS 9.5, and it sold for $360. We get one of our weekly regulars at number 9. With this 1991 Upper Deck Michael Jordan Rookie, card number SP1. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $384. Up next at number 8 is this 1998 Ultra Alex Rodriguez Platinum Medallion, card number 83P. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $420. Up next at number 7 is this 1999 Fleer Mystique Established Sammy Sosa, card number 9. Serial numbered out of 100, this was a PSA 10, and it sold for $720. Make that back-to-back -back appearances at number 6 with this 1997 Pinnacle Totally Certified Platinum Gold Sammy Sosa, card number 35. Serial numbered out of only 30, this gold parallel was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $1,200. Alright guys, and before we get to the top 5, I did pull aside 10 bonus cards to share today. We'll start off in the Junk Wax era with this 1990 score Ricky Henderson, card number 360. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $31.20. For a player that missed the top 50, we get this 1990 Baseball Cards Magazine Replica Cards Jose Canseco, card number 42. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $28.80. Up next is this 1995 Topps Bo Jackson, card number 592. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $27.60. For our fourth bonus card, I ran across this 1994 Collector's Choice Silver Michael Jordan, card number 23. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $26.40. Up next is this 1990 Upper Deck Nolan Ryan, card number 554. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $25.20. All right, and for a bonus card of a player that usually only makes the 1980s list, we get this 1991 Topps Desert Shield Doc Gooden, card number 330. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $25.20. For another bonus card of the kid, we get this 1993 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr., card number 355. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $25.20. For a mid-90s parallel, I found this 1995 Studio Goldberry Bonds, card number 7. This gold parallel was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $24 even. For another player that missed the top 50, we get this 1992 Topps Manny Ramirez rookie, card number 156. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $22.80. And for our 10th and final bonus card, I found this 1992 Bowman Mike Piazza rookie, card number 461. This rookie was in a PSA 9, and it sold for $18 even.
And kicking off the top five of today's list is this 1999 Metal Universe Barry Bonds PMG, card number 246. Serial numbered out of 50, this PMG was in a PSA 5, and it sold for $2,310. We welcome a newcomer to the top 50 at number four with this 1999 Metal Universe Mike Piazza PMG, card number 195. Serial numbered out of 50, this PMG was in a PSA 6 and it sold for $2,760. Up next at number three, is this 1998 Metal Universe Hideo Nomo PMG, card number 211. This PMG was in a PSA 6, and it sold for $3,120. Coming in at number 2, is this 1998 Metal Universe Randy Johnson PMG, card number 209. This PMG was in a PSA 7, and it sold for $3,840. Make that back-to-back -back newcomers to top today's list off at number 1, with this 1998 Metal Universe Mariano Rivera PMG, card number 53. This was a PSA 7, and it sold for $10,200. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.